What's up everybody, I'm Ulian and we're going to recreate this 808 cowbell sound. So if you want to check out what kind of frequencies are in a sound to recreate it, you can just take an analyzer like Span and put it at a high resolution and then take a look at what you have just to get a rough idea. You can see it's obviously pretty high frequency sound and we have this overtone structure and this very big peak over here. And if you take a bit of time to analyze what frequencies are in there, you actually realize that you have two sawtooth waves layered on top of each other and they're tuned one fifth or perfect fifth apart. So seven semitones. And then on top of that, you have this peak over here, which I'm going to show you how we can recreate that. So let's open up an instance of uh, analog, which is just a simple synth, but you can do it in pretty much any subtractive synthesizer. And the setup we're going to use is we have these two oscillators. They're pl both playing a sawtooth wave, but this one is tuned up by by, uh, by seven semitones, so it's playing a perfect fifth. And then we're going to use a setup where we have two filters, but actually only one of the filters is doing something. The other one is more like to let the audio through. So the setup is the following. We have oscillator one just running through filter one and being amplified by amp one. And then we have oscillator two, which is going into filter two and into filter one. And for filter two, we're choosing a uh, bandpass filter. So it's a pretty wide bandpass filter at 6 dB per octave. All right. And actually over here, you have some a routing where you have the audio from filter one going into filter two, and we don't actually want that. So I'm going to turn this down all the way to zero. All right. So what sound do we have right now? Sounds like that. Sounds like a good basis, but we obviously still need some uh, to work on that a bit. So let's first make the sound a bit more attacky by adjusting the envelopes. So over here for amp envelope one, let's just bring this down and just put the decay at around like 500 or something like that to start out. And let's do the same for amp two. So both of the saw waves are kind of attacky at this point. So this is the sound we have right now. Obviously still doesn't sound exactly what we're looking for. Let's now um, adjust the bandpass filter. And as I showed you before, there was this big peak and it was around 850 hertz. So we can use the bandpass filter to go around 850 hertz. Let me actually just type that in. And now we add a bunch of resonance, like something like over 60 or around 60. Okay. Now we have, you can hear the filter moving because it has an envelope. Let's actually turn off the envelope and just put this on zero and do the same for the envelope for filter one. So now we're already much closer than before, right? But there's still something we have to do. If you, took a if you take a look at the spectrum of an actual cowbell, you can tell that the oscillators are actually slightly detuned. So they're detuned to each other by 20 cents, but they also don't actually hit the perfect frequency for the pitches that we use in our music. So let's just tune this up by like 22 cents and then detune them to each other by 20 cents by putting this one to around 44. Now 22 cents, that's also fine. Can you hear the difference? So this is without detune. This is with detune. Pretty cool. So now we're kind of left with the to take care of the dynamics because the 808 cowbell is a lot more attacky and snappy. And I'm not gonna be able to do that in these um, in the synthesizer because the envelopes are kind of limited, you know. Let me do this first again. Okay, here we go. So we're actually going to need some dynamic processing to take care of that. And um, <clears throat> I'm just taking out some dynamic processors like a transient shaper and a compressor and a gate. You don't need all of them. You can use all of them. Um, it's just like up to you how you want to shape the sound and what you're going to use for that. So let's at first just use this transient shaper. I'm just taking away a lot of sustain to make it attacky in that way and then also add a bit of attack on top. And then this little presence, I just played around with that, but that's not necessary. So let's listen to it with the transient shaper. Without. You can already tell how it's getting more attacky, but for me it wasn't enough. So I also added a compressor. Just add some attack time, like 
however long you want your uh, transient to be this is almost be like a limiter at this point so it's letting the transient through and then compressing by a lot and then you have a release time which is relatively long um, at 266 milliseconds so you're really grabbing the whole tail and compressing it okay Then I wanted to shape the sound even a bit more and I added this gate. So now it's kind of short and snappy. Then you have this high frequency spark, which is nice and also in the original sound, but I wanted to take or get rid of some of that. So I just added a high shelf starting at around, what do we have here? Uh, six, six K. All right. Cool. And now you can play around with this and uh, fine tune some parameters to your liking. Obviously, if you want the perfect cowbell sound, you can just, just use a sample. But when you recreate this kind of stuff, we can also turn it into different sounds. So let's play, we're just, let's say we're just playing a, a lower note. So already we have a pretty cool other sound. So you can play with the setup and learn from other sounds and try to recreate them and then come up with something else by doing that. Cool. I hope you liked the video. Leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you like synthesis videos. I'm going to make a lot more in the future. Also, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And because I went over some stuff so quickly and then that way I'm, I can get an idea of what you actually might also be interested in learning. All right. Stay safe. Have a good one and take care.